Hey, Principles of Management class. Welcome back to week number six. <clears throat> uh, this week we are working on chapter six, which is entrepreneurship. Uh, we're going to describe why people become entrepreneurs. Uh, we're going to also summarize uh, how to assess those opportunities and to start a new business. Uh, hopefully we can uh, go and explain how to increase your chances of success, <clears throat> including a good business uh, planning. Um, in Chapter 6, you will have, of course, your homework. You'll have your Learn Smart that you have to do and the quiz. Um, I've put up the PowerPoints under your Lessons tab. And I've also included in this week a um, entrepreneurship of Pillow Pets. I'm sure some of you parents that are out there and have little ones uh, are familiar with pillow pets, but basically it's just a pillow uh, that a pet. Uh, so uh, this was a person, a family or a couple that decided to make this, um, and you'll see the story, but that's what our discussion board will be on. Uh, after you know watching the video, tell me what your thoughts are. Tell me what your thoughts are on entrepreneurship. Have you ever considered yourself starting a business? Uh, or are you possibly in business now? Uh, make sure you respond to two of your classmates' posts and have an original post to get the 100% on that. Under that, you have what's another video, pretty fun video, about a, a gentleman who's a motivational speaker who ends up levitating four people. Uh, you'll see what I mean once you watch the video. <clears throat> but it's all based on teamwork, and that's considered part of what we consider work ethics. And uh, throughout the semester, I'll be putting up videos on our work ethics, ethics and um, during the midterm time, you'll fill out a paperwork, and I'll talk to you more in detail once we get closer to that. Fill out some paperwork on work ethics um, that's required by our institution here. And at the end of the semester, you'll also fill that back out. But watch the video. You don't necessarily have to do anything other than watching the video. Uh, take your word for it. The video is pretty interesting. It's only about two, uh, two minutes, maybe three minutes long. Uh, but this gentleman ends up levitating four people, which is pretty impressive uh, on how it's done. Um, if we had a class, I would love to give it a shot, but we don't. Uh, so take a look at it. I think you'll enjoy it. Now, the only other thing I want to mention for this week, uh, besides, you know, of course, doing your chapter work, uh, doing the discussion boards, and watching the work ethic video, uh, I want to make sure that everyone had a fair opportunity to catch up with any work that you might have missed. So, <clears throat> our midterm is only two weeks away. So, I would love for you to email me, letting me know what chapters you were not able to complete on time. That way I can go back and give you an extension to be able to do those chapters now. Uh, so once again, send me an email. Uh, say, for example, you, you got a late start this semester. You send me an email saying, uh, Mr. Argetta, I need chapter one uh, reopen. I will reopen it for you. Uh, this system at Graw Hill um, has to allow, it allows me to go back and give an extension to individual people. So I would have to go back and open up that chapter for you. I will open up that chapter for another week, uh, and that way you can go back and make sure you get that work done and uh, not affect your grade as much as just ignoring it. Uh, if you have any questions, as always, you can contact me via email, phone, uh, or you can come visit me if you're here in the Whitfield Murray County campus or area. Uh, I'll be more than happy to talk to you guys and um, answer any questions. Hope you're having a great week. Be careful. Uh, Tuesday apparently will have some uh, rough weather possibly, so uh, make sure you're safe out there, guys. Have a great week.